This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your cruise news for Saturday, August 6th. Just days after announcing that vaccinated guests would have to test in order to cruise to the Bahamas, Carnival Cruise Line has changed its protocols yet again. In an email to book guests on Friday, the line said that effective August 8th, vaccinated guests on cruises five nights or shorter do not need to test to sail to the Bahamas. However, unvaccinated passengers must still take a PCR or antigen test up to three days prior to the sailing. For cruises six nights or longer, all guests, regardless of the destination, must present a negative test result to sail. And Royal Caribbean has finally begun home porting in Haifa, Israel. Rhapsody of the Seas will offer mostly seven night cruises in the Eastern Med from the port city, as well as three and four night voyages over to Cyprus and Rhodes. In May of last year, Royal Caribbean planned to home port its brand new Odyssey of the Seas in Haifa for at least a season, but plans changed when conflicts escalated between Israel and Gaza. Other lines that sail from Haifa this year include Costa, MSC, Norwegian, Oceana, Seaborn, and Regent. In total, the port will host 109 cruise turnaround days and 116 port calls, making it its busiest year ever. And finally, we turn back to Alaska, where parts of the hillside above Skagway continue to give way as another rock slide occurred in the middle of last week. Norwegian Encore was docked at the pier this time, but moved away as a precaution. Passengers were then tendered back to the ship on boats provided by Holland America. The dock security booth was hit by rocks during the incident, but no injuries were reported. The rock slide was in the same area as the other one that happened in June, damaging the first pier. And cruise line stocks were up slightly on Friday. Carnival Corporation up a quarter percent, 9.82. Royal Caribbean up a half percent, 39.67. And Norwegian up 2 percent, 13.21. And on a personal note, it was a year ago today that I sailed out of Nassau, Bahamas for the last time with my dad. We stood there sailing past that iconic lighthouse, as you see in the video here, as we waited for the pilot boat. Little did I know I'd lose him unexpectedly around the holidays last year. We actually got him that sailing for Father's Day, and he told us for months after the cruise that it was one of the best sailings of his life. I know I've said it before, but he's the reason behind my work ethic, consistency, and overall my love for cruising. If you're fortunate enough to go on vacation with your parents, please don't ever take it for granted because you never know when it will be, be your last, sorry. This one's for you, Dad. I love you. Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.